Today, we're diving into the world of military tech to explore one of Iran's most powerful weapons, the Khorramshahr ballistic missile. Let's break down what makes it so special, its history, and why it matters. The Khorramshahr is a medium-range ballistic missile, named after a city in Iran that was a key battleground during the Iran-Iraq War. It's operated by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps and was first unveiled in 2017. Think of it as a high-tech projectile designed to deliver a massive payload over long distances with precision. Here's the quick rundown on its specs. Range. Officially, 2,000 kilometers. Enough to hit targets like Israel, Saudi Arabia, or even parts of Eastern Europe if launched from Western Iran. Warhead. It can carry up to 1,800 kilograms in its earlier versions, with the latest model, the Khorram Shar 4, hauling a 1,500 kilogram payload. Length, about 13 meters, with a sleek design for speed and stability. Speed, reports claim it can hit Mach 16 outside the atmosphere and Mach 8 inside it insanely fast. It's liquid-fueled, unlike many of Iran's solid-fuel missiles, and uses hypergolic fuel in its latest version. That means it ignites on contact, no spark needed, and can be stored ready to launch for years, cutting prep time to just 12 minutes. Now, where did this missile come from, and why is it so controversial? The Khorram Shar has roots in North Korea's Hwasong-10, also called the Musudan, which itself is based on an old Soviet submarine-launched missile. Iran likely bought these missiles in the mid-2000s and reverse-engineered them, adding their own upgrades. The first test in January 2017 flew 950 kilometers before exploding, but Iran kept refining it. By 2023, they unveiled the Khorram Shar 4, also called Khabar, with major upgrades, a stronger composite airframe for durability, a mid-phase navigation system that corrects its course outside the atmosphere, making it harder to jam, a maneuverable warhead that's tough for air defenses, like Israel's Iron Dome to intercept, accuracy within 20 to 30 meters, meaning it can hit specific buildings, not just cities. It's a game-changer for Iran's defense strategy. With a 2,000-kilometer range, it can threaten key regional rivals and U.S. bases in the Middle East. Its heavy warhead, up to two tons in some reports, could carry conventional explosives or, potentially, a nuclear payload, though Iran denies pursuing nuclear weapons. The missile's speed and maneuverability make it a nightmare for air defenses. Plus, it can carry multiple warheads, hitting several targets at once. Iran says it's for deterrence a way to say, don't mess with us. But critics, including the U.S. and Israel, see it as a threat, especially amid tensions over Iran's nuclear program. The Khorram Shar has stirred up plenty of debate. When it was unveiled, then President Trump tweeted about its potential to reach Israel, tying it to Iran's ties with North Korea. Western nations worry about its range and payload, with some estimating it could reach 3,000 kilometers with a lighter warhead, putting parts of Europe in range. That's why there's been pushback, including sanctions and calls to limit Iran's missile program. And that's the Khorram Shar missile, powerful, controversial, and a key player in global security. What do you think about Iran's missile program? On the flip side, Iran's defense minister says it's about protecting their country and supporting regional allies. They've even used similar missiles in retaliatory strikes, like against U.S. bases in Iraq in 2020. And that's the Khorram Shar missile, powerful, controversial, and a key player in global security. What do you think about Iran's missile program? 